The Queensland Sentencing Advisory Council is made up of a group of people who are there to inform, engage and advise the community and government and it's really a bridge building group of people who consider evidence-based research to look at the way sentencing works in the community and for government. Our group includes legal experts, those with experience in the criminal justice system, acting for victims, domestic violence, those with a focus on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander social justice issues. So it's a broad collective of experts within the community who come together and provide independent advice. There's a great deal of misinformation about sentencing in, the, in public discourse. Sentencing attracts uh, daily interest from the media and there's a great deal of public interest in sentencing and how judges and magistrates work. So there really is no independent body before the council was set up that can comment uh, in an independent, apolitical way about sentencing issues and to give more information to the public uh, about uh, how the courts go about their work in this important area. We develop resources um, such as Judge for Yourself where we give people the opportunity to see what it is like to be the judge and to have to decide these complex factual and legal issues for a sentence. There's been over 12,000 people who have either participated online or have come to our sessions which we ran across the state as far north as Thursday Island and we're really pleased by the appetite for that program and we're seeing it increasingly used in schools. My main aim uh, with the council is to uh, is, is to advise council on on the indigenous uh, history and cultural aspects of sentencing. I believe it's really important because we won't just need to have a look at the percentage of indigenous indig people in uh, incarceration. So I think it's only important that we uh, we have a voice that's heard at that level when we're making those decisions. It's very important that the community understand the court system because. It's fundamental that there be public confidence in the court system. And we live in a time now where confidence in all uh, major uh, institutions of state uh, is being eroded uh, for uh, reasons sometimes that are understandable, sometimes uh, they're not rational reasons. So I hope the council can play a very small part in uh, ensuring that confidence in the courts, particularly the criminal courts, uh, remains high, which I believe it is.